We're with Dr. Gillen Summer. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to talk a little bit today about how to determine if your pet might be overweight. Okay, it's, it's a good question because a lot of our pets are, and it contributes to all the same problems that it does for us uh, joint problems, respiratory problems, heart problems. Uh, you want to be able to feel their ribs but not see them. Uh, typically, you want them tucked in at their waist. If you look at some dogs, they're like a barrel. <laughs> Usually, that means they're overweight. Okay. You can find diagrams online that are, and probably your veterinarian have, may have some, at, that kind of give you sketches of body scale scores, ideal, too thin, overweight. And, uh, and it's certainly good. And you know, that's one of the things we check yearly when we do their checkups is, um, you know, are they getting overweight? Have they gained weight since last year? Uh, because just like with us, it's better to catch it before all of a sudden you're 20 pounds overweight. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and also, it's getting warmer now, too. We're approaching mm -hmm. spring, and more people might be headed out to the dog park. Mm -hmm. What are some good rules and etiquette for people to keep in mind when they go to dog parks? Dog parks are becoming more common. You, know, you want to make sure they're, all their vaccines are up to date. Flea and tick prevention, heartworm prevention is up to date. Probably don't want to care puppies under six months. Uh, it's maybe not a great place to socialize them. But uh, you know, know your dogs. Certain dogs are scared. Are aggressive, you know, know other people's dogs. You know, when you get there, usually they'll have a double enclosure, kind of go in, kind of survey the situation. There's a whole group of dogs right at the door. Just wait and let them move, and then to where you can go in, keep them on a leash. You know, there are parks that you can let them loose, but you want to make sure how your dog's going to react before you do that. Thank you, Dr. Gill. We'll be back with more news and weather coming up after the break.